everybody, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Lord of the Rings in Minecraft. I am here in Eastmark in Rohan, uh, trying to, uh, I'm going to be mining for some Rohan rock, because uh, what my next big project is, is to work on the wine cellar uh, at the Green Dragon, and I had decided that the Rohan bricks would make a really good uh, walls and ceiling for the uh, for the wine cellar, so here I am, and I'm probably going to be in and out a bit today, just showing little, little steps as we go along, and hopefully we'll make some progress. So I will see you soon. Hey, thank goodness for Rohan boulders, because I have, I have been just working at this one boulder, and I already have over two stacks of Rohan rock. Now once we put this in a Rohan crafting table, we can create Rohan brick and stairs and things like that that will be useful to us in our build. So that is really cool, but it's like I was afraid I was going to have to go mining underground and I don't even have to do that thanks to these boulders. So that's cool. Well, we will see you back at the uh, Green Dragon soon. All right, I'm back here in the inn just to drop Oh, first of all, to drop off some coal that I actually went down in the nearby mine to get. Uh, and then craft some of that brick. Now, as you can see, the Rohan brick looks like this. And I'll probably, you know, what I'll probably do is craft a second Rohan crafting table to ta take down with me. And then just craft things like the stairs and things as I need them. So, let's see, let's get some wood. Alright, and to craft a Rohan crafting table, of course you need a Rohan crafting table. Ha ha ha, the Rohan crafting table. Here we go. So, okay, we get our second one to take down with us. And then, to make the bricks, you just have to do that. So, I'm probably going to leave some of the rock just as it is, but I'm going to craft plenty of bricks too. So, eh, let's see. I got plenty, though. That was just from, like, three boulders. But, of course, my pick is almost broken, so I need to craft a new one. And I, well, I don't have a ton of uh, experience, because I was mostly mining and not fighting. The uh, coal gave me a little bit, though. Okay, let's see. What do we want now? Oh. I was going to see. I do have some diamonds, so I'll probably do that. Um, craft a new diamond pick and see if I can get an enchantment on it. Here we go. This one has efficiency and fortune. Now, I'm not going to be able to get a ton of good stuff for 13 experience, but we'll see what we can get. Okay. Hello. Okay, I'm just going to see 12. I guess that's close. Ah, efficiency and then breaking. That would be good for digging out because we still I still have to finish digging out the cavern down there. I haven't done much since my Twitch stream. I've been trying out a new game, Arc Age, and so I haven't done any videos on it yet, but I just got started and I had to pull myself away from it to, to work on the end. But I want to get, you know, I want to get some progress made on this wine cellar today. So let us go down. And this is what we have so far. Uh, we dug out on the Twitch stream, dug out the corners here. I also posted the Twitch stream here, um, it's 10 blocks high, and it sits right underneath the uh, inn. So it's basically as long and wide as the inn, and 10 blocks high. So I'm just kind of digging around the top first, and then once that's dug out, I will start on the bottom. Okay, but I, I will not subject you to mining every block here, and I'll be back in a little while. Hey everybody, we're back, and I cleared out this room pretty well, I think. <laughs> I decided to go with 6 high instead of 10 high, because I realized 10 was a little bit ambitious, and it would also be harder to build and design with. So, as a sample though, I picked my flooring, which I decided to use the mango wood. Um, I had brought back some mango saplings from the Harad and have them growing over there with the rest of my orchard. And I also, here is the Rohan brick. So this is kind of give you an idea of what the room will look like just on the outside. So we'll start working on that now. Start laying some of it in. We, we'll probably have to go back for more mango wood at some point. Uh, just 
I, I, I cut down, I only had four trees, and I cut them down and got all the uh, planks from them. Uh, what I really love about this mod, though, is it's very thorough, because if you have mango wood, you have mango stairs, so that's awesome. I didn't have to worry about mixing my wood, you know, once, because I really like the look of this one, and, and I thought it really will go well with the Rohan brick, as far as, like, what kind of floors they might have down here in the wine cellar. I know, I sort of thought it could be a dirt or sandy floor, but I don't think that'll look as nice. It's, this has got a little class, so it is a, uh, this one is sort of modeled after the Hobbit wine cellar, but at the same time it is a professional cellar or wine cellar of the inn, so I think we can go with this. But we have some, let's see, we'll line the walls with Rohan brick here. And just, just to be, you know, just, we'll get that one even though it's not going to show. Come on, jump out of here. Yeah, it's slowing down on me a little bit tonight. I don't know why. It's like, oh, you're recording. I must slow down. Anyway, um, so that's, but what I'm going to do is on each side, I think I'm going to have a big archway where you can go down a little aisle, maybe three, maybe one here, one in the middle, and one on this side. And that will lead down the aisles to each, like, little section of the wine cellar. And we're going to use some deco craft to decorate, to like put up the actual barrels and stuff. I hope they fit all right with this, with this uh, theme here. The only thing about deco craft is I wish it were more interactive, but it really is just what it says. It's for decoration only. So, but you can't like change the, uh, you can't change the, what am I going to say? Like the wood colors or anything like that. They are what they are, so. But then again, when you decorate a wine cellar, you're, I, I guess, not trying to match the wine barrels. Yeah, the, the one thing is it's got this weird lighting glitch with the stairs up there, but it's only not every time, so I'm not quite sure where that comes from. It is kind of dark down here, but it's, to me, a wine cellar shouldn't be super bright, you know, because it's underground. So let's make some more stairs. You have to do this in the Rohirric crafting table. Might as well just use the whole stack, because we're going to need them as we go around the room. And we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and line some of this until we run out of mango wood. And then I'll, I'll need to go, hopefully as we are down here, they're growing. Because I, I planted some more saplings, so that we would have some more wood to, to use down here. Because this is quite a big floor here. So I've seen some builds on wine cellars where they just use regular Minecraft blocks, but the barrels end up being just, I mean, humongous. Because that's the only way to get them to look even remotely round. It's kind of funny. Now I have these two, and I'm to, these lanterns I'm just placing right now, not as their permanent spot, but just to light up the place a little. So I'm not trying to be like super careful with them. Like, I, like you can see, I have one over there on the floor. And I will figure out... <laughs> I love the way it planted sideways, even though it's not actually touching anything. But that will bother me, so i got to at least put it on the wall. Yes, and I'm kind of haphazard going back and forth here, just working my way outward. Here we go. I, I think it looks rather nice, actually, so far. I guess I don't need to waste the brick down there that's not going to be showing, but I just, I can't help it. If we have to go back to Rohan, we will. If I run out of brick. So, um, I just want to let y'all know that next week I will be on vacation, and actually for about a week and a half. So over the next, you know, two, two weeks or so, you may not see a whole lot of videos from me. Uh, and then I'm kind of going to re revamp my schedule a little bit. I know I just did recently, but it's just become a need to do that to make sure that I have enough balance, you know, get to do everything that I need to do. As many of you know, I am a mom and I have three kids. 
And they like to play Minecraft too, but it's not all they like to do. And we are also, we homeschool, and so we have a lot to do at home together. And out and about, we take lots of field trips and things like that. So, yeah, you got to balance things out. Minecraft is good, but sometimes we got to take a break. So I'm not going to be taking like a huge break, but I, I'd probably be uh, focusing more on the videos that I really that matter to me the most and actually this this series is one of them because I really enjoy it and so it is one of the ones that matter but you might see less of the other things so I'm just kinda trying to evaluate and if there's any particular series that's really that you're really fond of please let me know and that will help me as I make my decision on what ha you know how to focus my time best ah good I see mango trees over there okay I'm gonna go cut some of those down and start filling out the floor a little bit and I will get back to you when we start on the archways. Okay, look at this. It's all filled in. The only glitches I have now, I made a little adjustment, and is the corner driving me crazy. It looks right under the shadow, but that's got a little shadow. But what I did is I dug up one layer here and put a full brick, and then it comes down to slabs in the middle. And it looks fine. The only thing, I still have to finish filling, filling in the ceiling a bit. But I wanted to get started on these arches. But otherwise, you can get a good view of what the place is going to look like. Now, yeah, I, I, these arches are inspired by a picture I found online. Just because I was looking for the kind of arches that I would like to have in here. As like the entrance to the hallways and stuff. So, uh, I will link it in the description. It's from Planet Minecraft. So... Let's start. We have some stairs and some columns, and let's see how this is going to work out, because I'm just kind of, like I said, inspired. it's inspired by a picture I found. So, I'm just going to, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do on this side, so I'm going to start with here. But you can see here, I made a little archway coming down. I'll be modifying all this probably, just to make it look nicer, but for now, we're going right in. Got my crafting table there out of the way. So I'm kind of seeing what will fit here. So let's see. I need to get right above these stairs and put one down like that. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then we would take a slab. We don't have very many, but I can make some more definitely. And see if we can tuck it right up there. Yeah. And, yeah, I don't know. We'll see if that's enough. And you can um, fill that in again with another slab right here and a full brick here. Let's go over and do the same thing on the other side, but first we need a few more slabs. Let's start here. With that 12 will get us for a little bit. It's kind of a... Um, it's a double-layered archway, so it's not... As simple as it looks right here, we'll make a smaller one or a larger one here. So as the first layer, ha, missed a slab there, and then we'll build a smaller archway right behind it. So just two. We'll put two solid blocks there. I know it looks kind of odd right now, but but <laughs> we'll get to it. Um. I can't see the back side of my little inspiration, so I'm just going to, right now I'm going to wing it. We'll see how it looks, and we'll adjust it as necessary. So that is not where we want that. We actually want it out one. Okay. All right, here we go. Now hopefully this will come out looking as neat as it does. <laughs> that's a little short. I think we want to go up one more. It's not, that's like Hobbit short right there. I mean, it could work, but it's it's a little short. I think I want to put it up one more block. That's, so you got to adjust things for your own build. Let's see. Tink. Now we got to tuck some slabs in there. Don't want that shadow there because that's just weird. Okay, let's see. Let's put that there, and that there. 
and you just tuck it, tuck it in, tuck the sh the little slabs in there. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Whoa. Now I think though, hmm, I am tempted to do this though too. Let's see if it's too much. Oh, actually, it looks kind of neat. It's very hobbitish, you know, a little circular doorway coming in. That is kind of cool. Now, now I guess, do we want to make it a triple layer and put... I, I think, let's try that. What I, I want to do is sort of make the archway three blocks thick by filling this part in and then repeating the pattern on this side of the archway. So what we do is come over here, oh, look at it, okay, we got it. Put slabs here. Oops, that's a little off right there. Yeah, I've noticed with these slabs that you put one, you can't take just one down if they're in the same block space. If you take off one, you take off two, so. Okay, nice. I think we might, we'll probably need to make more slabs before we're done here. Yeah, definitely for at least right there. But they only take a second, so let's make some more. Let's see, well, six to start with. Yeah, that did not work. No, not that either. Jeez, jeez, jeez. It is getting kind of late here, and I've been enjoying the build so much, even if it's just laying down the floor and stuff. But I've, it's kind of late, so. Okay. So, after we, we come down here to the floor, and do the same thing on the other side. Let me go back here. I just want to make sure I'm doing everything the same. Put the stairs there and there. Let's put up a couple of torches here on the floor just so we can see. See, I really like that. Whoa. I really like that. You know, and um, let me see. We could even put lanterns. Now, I only have one here, but I can... Yeah, that I think that's cool. And maybe even one on the other side. Let me steal one. Now I gotta see what it looks like. We'll leave a little dark corner back here. These were just the extra lanterns I had on hand from before, so I'll definitely have to go make some more. I can make them silver as well, or out of iron anyway. So that looks really nice. But so what this will be is like three different hallways coming down, or maybe even more, uh, coming down through here where you'll have the barrels and everything. So at least three hallways, maybe more. I just have these little... Uh, Rohan rocks here, um, just putting, you know, marking off every 10 blocks just to kind of give myself an idea of where I wanted to build. But I really like that archway. I, I, I do. I'm like, that is cool. Okay, so I'm going to finish filling, filling in this ceiling and we will be back with another episode in just a few days. And we will do some more work down here, including starting to put up barrels and things like that. In the meantime, I think I'm going to build some more of these archways. Um, now, if they went onto the... I think I'm... I'm going to have to see. I'm probably going to fill out some walls, but we'll figure it out. I ha This is a kind of on-the-fly design, so I'm still working on it. still a work in progress. So, But by the time you see me again, the ceiling will be filled in, and hopefully the arches will be up. And... Uh, well, I don't know if there's arch arches so much as little doorways, but uh, anyway, I'll, I'll put some more of that up and then we'll start with the interior decorating and using the deco craft to fill things in. I've been growing cactus like mad, so I've got some in the smeltery. Look, I lost my helmet. Anyway, I've got some in the smeltery. Let's go ahead and go up there. Uh, been growing mango like crazy, get all that floor filled in finally. And of course... I had to go back to Rohan once. Yep, I got a few more mango trees already popped up. I can see four from here. Um, I had to go back to Rohan to get more rock, because even three huge boulders was not enough. I had to get three or four more. That's a lot of Rohan rock, and I may need some more by the time I get filling in all the walls and stuff. So let's see how much... Ah, it hasn't gotten to the cactus yet. Where are we at? It's still smelting stone. 
Let's see what's in. Ah, uh, yes. We've got 33 cactus ready to be smelted. And it eh, looks like I got plenty of uh, plenty of coal now. Anyway, I am Xander Witch, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.